Hi, this is Paul here with another simple and free way of creating forms and capturing data from your website. So if you want to create a survey or if you want to ask for testimonials, this is an easy way of doing it. It's very quick and it utilizes the tools that Google will give you if you open a Gmail account with them. So here I am on Google's uh, homepage for the UK uh, and you can see in the top right hand corner uh, there's my little logo for Webwiser but here this uh, icon here with the nine dots is Google Apps so if I click on Google Apps so bear in mind you have to have a, a Google account for this just open a free account with Google get yourself a Gmail uh, address you can have uh, any number of them as far as I know I've got about five or six uh, Gmail addresses but anyway click on Google Apps and one of the options here is this triangular shaped icon here for Google Drive so this is where you get uh, free disk space if you want extra disk uh, storage space um, from Google let me just get rid of this because that was a test I was doing earlier so uh, here on the left hand side you have a button here marked create so this is to create a form to put add onto your website so I click on create and I get these options here Google Pro programs so this one here document that's like Word this presentation one I guess that's like PowerPoint though I've never used it spreadsheet and here's a form for a spreadsheet so if I click on form it opens this page for me here and there's a page for creating a form so the first thing you get asked is um, well it says uh, you've got some boxes up here show progress bar this is whilst people are filling in the form so you needn't tick that allow only one response per person uh, leave that and shuffle question order definitely leave that um, so the next thing you get asked is the uh, it says untitled form doesn't really matter what you call this but let's call it uh, in my case let's call it testimonial form and so here we get just below that you get the option to start creating questions so let's say we're going to ask people their name well, this is a form to get people or to ask people for testimonials testimonials uh, as I've mentioned in the earlier video are really valuable and worthwhile having so let's ask people their name um, help text well I think they don't need any prompting I think we all know what our name is type of question let's select text so this will just be a single line of text uh, and should we say this is a required question yes I think we need to know people's names for a testimonial so that's done that's all there is to that one question let's go and add an item here below choose the type of um, response you would what you'd like so we're going to have text again a single line of text see here is below that it says paragraph of text that that will put a box on the screen but we don't need a box for our next question uh, which will be company name now underneath where it says help text we'll put something like um, optional but it let's put optional but your company name helps with testimonials this time we won't click the required question we won't force people to Get, getting people to uh, fill in testimonials or any kind of forms is is not that easy. Not not everybody's very anxious to do it, so we will um, we we won't make that a required question. So we'll just say done. Uh, there's so we've got two questions: name, company name. Let's have another question. Let's ask um, your your town city state and country so we'll give a bit of help te te uh, text here we'll say example and we'll put um, this is the kind of thing we want people to put Lund uh, I've got Luton never mind Luton England and we will spell that right or Dayton, Ohio, I don't know why I thought of that. Dayton, Ohio, USA. So that, that's those are two examples. Uh, and this is a text question again, single line of text. And do we want to make this required? Yes, we'll make this a required. So we'll say add, add another question. Let's just go for 
paragraph text this time and let's say um, your testimonial so there we are we've got some help test there uh, please let us text rather please let us know what you think of our website and uh, we'll just say done so that is the full form it's only a very small form in this case obviously um, actually if we look at this just to these are the types of questions you can ask from this form a short line of text a paragraph of text which would go in a box multiple choice questions check boxes choose answers from a list and then you've got scales you know what what, what do you think of this uh, out from 1 to 10 how good do you think it is uh, you can put the date and the time and put images in and so on I might mess around with this form later but uh, I see I've spelt testimonial wrong let me just change that um, I might mess around with it later but that is basically okay um, so underneath here show link to submit another response so this is if you're, if you're letting people uh, put two responses uh, into the same form so we don't really want that so below here publish and show a public link to form results so in other words uh, you know are you going to let everybody who comes to the website see what everybody else has written in into the form so no we're not going to do that and allow responders to edit responses after editing I don't really see why we shouldn't let them edit it if people make mistakes but what the hell I'm gonna say no so then we've got this button here that says that says send form click on that and it makes the assumption that you might be wanting to send this out to uh, an email list um, so uh, you know it, it would be um, you could put a bunch of email addresses in here uh, and then I guess uh, what what would happen is the the link to this form would be um, th this here is the link to the form and that would appear in the emails but we don't want to do that what we want to do is embed this into a website so I'm just going to click embed and there's my embed code so I'll just click once in there and I'll do control C actually it's telling you to do con control C um, <coughs> and then say done so that's it uh, very quickly and very roughly done now if we go back to my drive at the top of my screen I've got a tab which you can't see in this video but it's it's a my my drive tab so I'm clicking on that and I go back in here and you can see that the testimonial form spelt wrongly is there so there's the form and and uh, this is where the responses go here so I've got my um, code to embed into my website so let's next go off and take a look at putting that code into a website so here I am in a redundant website which I've mentioned in other videos it's called b2b social success.co.uk it's not doing anything it's just a test site for me if I come down here to pages and I go add new it opens up a, a new page for me so I can give it a title which I'll call testimonials and here is the box where I can put my form so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a heading uh, I keep spelling that wrong testimonials uh, I'm going to send to that and I'm going to make it a heading 2 and then underneath that I'm going to put a request for a testimonial okay so I've written a quick request here for testimonials I've put please supply a testimonial for our site we love to hear what you think of us and testimonials spelt wrong yet again testimonials are a really important way for any business to demonstrate its value to others ideally we'd like to be able to use your name business name and city in your testimonial but we will only publish what you are comfortable with thanks for dropping by and please do fill in the form below so that's an, a nice earnest honest request for a testimonial so all I need to do now is I've just put a space in there I'm coming into the text side here now of this area where I can enter data so think of this as the HTML side uh, and here somewhere I'm going to do a control V and copy that code in that I picked up from Google so I'm now going to say um, what am I going to say save draft I suppose and then when that's finished saving I'll click on preview and we'll get to see what that looks like so this is not yet published but I'm clicking 
to open a preview page and here it is testimonials it says testimonial request and there's the form simple as that now let me fill in the form okay so we'll see what it looks like when we go back to Google so I'll put my name and I'm going to put uh, Luton England and uh, I'm going to write a very erudite testimonial from a 16 year old <laughs> I think you guys rock submit okay now if I go back to my Google Drive so here is the responses I click on the responses and there we have it we get this timestamp here on the top left it's putting the time and date that the respondent left the information name I forgot to put company name in Luton England I think you guys rock obviously when you leave testimonials for me they'll be long and very eloquent and be fabulously written uh, but that was the best I could manage for the time frame okay so I think that's um, simple enough really it's very very easy to do you're using Google tools you're creating a form grabbing the code and dropping it into a WordPress page or if you've got some other form of website if it's just a standard HTML website you can drop it into um, those pages in exactly the sort of the same kind of way so I hope that's been helpful uh, and I'll catch you in a later video.